What is up, beauties? My name, of course, is Brinzy. Happy Friday to you. Welcome to the second episode of Liquor Store Stories. And for today, we're playing a little bit of FIFA 14. What I like about this game is the challenge to take the MLS from a really shitty league and make them into a powerhouse. And that's really what they need to improve in this game is make the MLS the powerhouse right off the bat because everyone knows the MLS is the best soccer league. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my overseas beauties football. But anyway, this is a story about when I worked at the liquor store back in college. And this particular story is when I intentionally, yes, I intentionally made a drunk woman very, very upset. But first, let me go over a couple important liquor store laws in the state of Minnesota, just so the story makes a little bit more sense and why this woman was so extremely upset with me. Number one, we do not sell liquor on Sundays. That is right, if you need to get your drunk on for some Sunday afternoon football, I'm talking about soccer here, football, soccer. We all know Americans watch soccer on Sundays. But if you need to get your drunk on, you gotta get your ass over to Wisconsin. They're open uh, every day of the week, pretty much 24 hours a day. Number two, liquor stores close at 10 p.m. I, I don't know why that law is that it's 10. Maybe it's so the bars can make more money and people just can't go to the liquor store. But anyways, let's get into the story and what happened. So it was a very cold winter evening, Saturday night, around 9.59 p.m. And also another important law that I forgot, you can't sell liquor to someone who is already intoxicated. That is against the law. It's a liability issue. We don't know if they're driving and if they hurt someone or themselves and we sold them the liquor, we can be liable for that. So 9.59 p.m., this woman comes stumbling in, stuttering her words. Well, not, she didn't walk in. She just at the door and she's like, are you guys still open? I'm like, yeah, we're still open. Already knowing that I'm not going to sell her anything anyways because she's wasted. And she's like, oh, man, do you guys have an ATM machine? And we didn't. We were attached to a gas station. So we had the liquor store and then the gas station was actually attached to a same company, different products being sold. And I was like, no, we don't have an ATM machine, but the gas station right there has one. And you have about 30 seconds. He's like, all right, I'll be right back. So she turned around, walked into the gas station, and the second she walked into the gas station, the clock turned over to 10 p.m. And I was like, yep, we're done. Slammed the door shut, locked the doors, turned the lights off. And went back and got the mop because it's it's winter and the floors get all salty. So you got to mop it before you go. It's kind of a bitch, but well, you got to do it. So as I'm mopping the floor and my coworker is putting the registers away, I hear the uh, banging on the door, and I look over. And I'm like, uh, "Can I help you?" And she's like, "I right, I got." She's waving her twenty dollar bill. I got I got my the money to get some beer. I was like, "I'm sorry, we're closed. The lights are off. It's past ten. Uh, the door's locked. I, I can't sell you anything." Oh, uh, come on, man. I just want to get some beer. Take two seconds. I already know what I want. Ma'am, I'm sorry. It's past 10 p.m. I legally cannot sell you liquor. I would lose my job, and the store would lose their liquor license and have to close. I cannot do it. Ah, uh, you can do it for me, man. You can do it for me, please. And that's when she became irate, yelling profanities at me like, Fuck you, I'm never coming back to this store again. You can't even, like, ma'am. I'm not going to open this door and sell you liquor and sacrifice my job so you can drink yourself into a coma. It's just not going to happen. You know, just being all sarcastic with her. And I called over to the uh, guy at the gas station. I was like, can you get this fucking woman out of here so I can go home? And she just stood there with a blank stare and uh, just acting fucking obscene. Just a ratchet ass hoe. And that happened a couple other times. Even sometimes regular customers getting upset that you won't let them in after close. Even though it's clearly against the law to sell liquor after 10 p.m. I'm sorry, you're a nice guy, but I'm not bending the rules for you and risking my job. It will never happen. And that is it for today's Liquor Store Stories. If you enjoyed, leave a like and have a beautiful day. ABC! I am cowboy, don't talk a lot, oh.